to think of a new uh, alternative to win this match and retain the women's championship. Wait, the referee's outside the ring too. One. He's outside the ring. Two. Three. That's the first I've ever seen this. What the hell? Four. <laughs> In any case, he's counting back to four. Five. Spine Buster. Eight. Nine. Ten. Are you kidding me? Gino Carano moments ago had Cactus Jen in a predicament. Now Aretha Brown, whose inexperience is in the ring, she's not even supposed to be in this match. I think someone's got robbed. I think a few women got robbed here. And I'll think it's just a domino effect because Carano cost Adele Hasib a shot at the, uh, uh, to win the women's title. Oh my god. And then Alicia, a ring veteran, was also eliminated at the exact same time Adele Hasib was. And now Urethra Brown, who has no business being in this ring. Huh? Sending her ass kicked in the corner. She's getting gang banged by Cactus Jen and the turnbuckle. Wait a minute. She's broken free from the clutch. Wait a minute, maybe not. No, she's down. She's back down again. And a legs lock submission hole, an ankle lock submission. That was really broken up by by the decision Sky Stanley made, which by the way was kind of strange how he was outside the ring. That was very strange. He was counting from outside the ring. That has never ever happened in fantasy pro wrestling history. And there is Corporal Carano looking down at the ground in shame because she could have won this thing and unfortunately did not. Holy Mac. Sidewalk slam. Good lord. Whoa. Not even a two count. But Euretha is doing a hell of a number. Whoa. And Euretha Brown is building up momentum here. Captain, I don't know if you're dying or tired. Yeah, he's... He's definitely tired. I think that cranberry clash gave him a, just just gave him a number. Oof! Man, those hooker boots from Uretha Brown. Do you hear the sound effect there? Oh, Lord. that is that is Cactus Jen trying to get the fuck back up because this is bullshit. Oh, come on! Fuck my ass! What the fuck?! Whoa! You've created a monster. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on! There is the highly elevated spine buster we've seen. Go over the cover here. Two. Oh my 
my goodness! Urethra Brown is coming out of the shadows, ladies and gentlemen. That's what's going on here. Another spine buster! She's not even part of the match, Captain. That doesn't make any sense. One, two, three! And it is finally all over, ladies and gentlemen. I think Cactus Jen's leg is Here's hurt. Your winner, Jennifer. I think Cactus Jen better get her leg checked. She is that is that leg is really banged up. Once again, Cactus Jen retains the women's championship title. Look at the money we have made here tonight. And what an impressive score in spite of all the circumstances that has happened in this match. Sacramento Card. This. Just absolutely wild, ladies and gentlemen. But Cactus Jen retains the women's championship, and I know, I know without a shadow of a doubt that there's going to be hell to pay, and at Catfight 2015, the divas of FPW, the women of FPW, are going to come out and clash for the gold. So far as I know, Urethra Brown, who has entered into this match, she has a target on her chest or on her backside. But Cactus Jen, who is still the women's champion, she's got a much bigger target as she is still the FPW women's champion. Coming up next, ladies and gentlemen, here at FPW Blood, Sweat and Tears. Are you ready for this? Yeah. For the world heavyweight crown, Curse meets the phenom of the world wrestling entertainment, The Undertaker, who could possibly be a career ending match for The Undertaker if he loses. However, if he wins, not only that he wins the belt, but he earns a six month contract here in FPW. Tony Schimmel, take it away. Pray. 